Hey there, guys. Look, let's talk about the jugglers. So you are the ones. Oh, I fat so. Look who we got here. Is it just me or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? Right. Hey, look. Let's talk. Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insulted the Iraq Emil fuck. Called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then. Every time they fought. <laughs> right. Or I could fuck with your mind and tell you to leave them alone. Or I'd kill you. Get out of here. Now. What? Fuck yeah. Oh god. <laughs> okay, alright, alright. <laughs> My controller's gonna screw me over, fucking make me run straight at them. Ah, oh, what a sight! You really showed them! One, two, over the back, then pow, right in the noggin! I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath a hood. Thank you very much! <laughs> Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right? I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper! Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. Guys, we finally did it. We finally, like, killed a guy. And then the rest of the gang said, Um, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> Fuck this shit. We're out. I wasn't expecting that. I was ready. I was like, okay, this is a group of people. I'm going to throw down Yurden, slow them down, and then wail on them while they're in the middle of the Yurden circle. And if things are working out for the better, I'll throw down a Yurden projectile thing, and then he'll shoot them while slowing them down, and everything will be amazing. Nope, killed one guy, and they just fucked off. <laughs> uh, I am so happy about that. All right, now we head to the, head to the docks and hire ushers for the play. Yeah, we can see the people who are getting all riled up over something. Is it a fight? Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A Witcher versus the Beast of Metana. Killer Instinct versus Primal Rage. I actually just want to hire you guys. You guys really from Nilfgaard? We's from Plowing Metina, damn it! Oh, Nilfgaard. <laughs> Raised by wild hands on the windswept plains of Magdara. Brothers forged in bloodshed. Veterans of Metina's infamous filthy arenas. Who dares face the wild men of the south? Who will look the beast in the eye? Not me, because again, just here to hire you. I'd like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking is what we do. Yeah, but what about money? Oh, what if I fight you and win? Hey! How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me, gratis. See, Hal's no fan of mummies. Failed romance. Spare you the details. So you'll need something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Take us both on, same time. Fire the century. A witcher against the two-headed dragon of metal. What if I just what pay I you? Lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll fight you. I can handle two humans. Fine. Fight you both. Cough up the coin first. Lose, and it stays with us.
Here, double your usual take. Oh, gosh. Double your wages, as promised. But if I win, I get it back. Now, oh, finish him! Got something special like that! Well, I've never fist fought two people before. This is gonna get interesting. All right. So, the way that we have to do this is definitely gonna be a lot of zoning out. And keeping them focused one at a time. I can't legitimately fight two people at the same time. It's just juggling. A lot of juggling. Okay. So, you know, I am a witcher. I have magic as well as my fists. So, depending on what you want, I can use both. But I'll just probably end up using one. Woo, yeah, double hit. How you guys feeling about that? Oh, yeah. Oh, dodged. Ooh, ooh, almost got hit by that. All right. They are, uh... Oh, boy. They are taking a lot of damage from this. They aren't dying as fast as some people usually would. Ow, shit. <laughs> Dude, how the fuck is that fair? I got... I lost half my health in two punches. Come on, come closer. Okay, all right. Give me a moment. Just kind of adjusting my positions here. Ha-ha! Now your brother's knocked out! Come on, 1v1 me, bro! I didn't parry in time. Whoa. I ended up blocking, I guess. Woo! Okay. Well, <laughs> well. Ain't often you get such a lovely trash in I am. Man's speechless, but I can see it on his mug, but the likes you. Time we got some rest. We'll guard whatever you want. For free, eh, hey, Al? <laughs> yeah, I guess you're out. <laughs> Your coin? Have it, man. And don't fret. We'll get there before any of the uh, dancing starts. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I got a little bit worried when I got hit twice and was at half of my health. That was indefinitely uh, part of the plan. But hey, we got the ushers. All two of them? I was actually expecting like a whole group. I don't know what two people can do, but yeah, if they fight for a living, they can push people back for a living. All right, let's see if the fucking ticket guy's gonna make me pay to get in this time. Doppler belongs in a fire, not on stage. Oh, there they are. See how Bulk does what he can, but it's... <laughs> I think that matters. <laughs> okay. Oh, I've worked up quite the appetite. Me too. But you know what? As a witcher, I have to do my job. And just, well, okay, what am I saying? <laughs> Technically, Geralt's just constantly eating. We never really see him sleep all too much. But we just assume all of his eating is when we're healing up. Oh, hi there. Uh, I didn't just extinguish that <laughs> light right next to you. Let's bring that right back up. Alright. We need mood lighting. Oh, okay. I guess that would have been a place for some free clothes. That would have been nice. <laughs> Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. I also got the puffins, which is kind of nice. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I have very clear ideas who to cast as the Servant, the Witcher, and the Queen, but I'm not certain who should play the Prince and the Princess. Yeah, okay. 
These performances bring in much coin? Well, it varies. On good days, the square is barely capable of accommodating everyone. Other times, we're lucky to earn a handful of coppers. Of course we shall pay you a fee as well. You're a member of the ensemble now. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks. Please don't make me play. <laughs> Please don't put me in the play. Who is playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer <gasps> to the troupe. In a sense. Oh, stop pretending oh, no. you don't know. I'm talking about you. Oh, no. Not an actor. No talent. Oh, no. Oh, oh it's a comedy. It's a good idea. Doubt I'll get a standing ovation, but Dudu will see me. That's the key. But you will make an effort, won't you? Learn your lines, at least. Oh, no. I'll give it a shot, of course. We're gonna have to learn our lines, maybe. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Mmm. Mmm. Choices, choices. We could have Priscilla go up on stage, but maybe she should play. Roll's yours. Talent and experience Trump looks in my book. I'm honored. I shall give it my all. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier, outstanding actor, and audiences love him, but sadly, I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Well, we can try, Maxim. Let's risk it and give the role to Maxim. He's had a good spell of late, so maybe he won't let us down. He's gonna let us down. I can see it. Okay. All right. Got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? Yep. Yep. I need to learn my lines, actually. Working on it. Still need to learn my lines. It's a lot to memorize. One who knows an entire bestry by heart and can blend dozens of alchemical brews can surely memorize a few lines of rhymed verse. Good luck. She's got you there, but where am I supposed to learn the lines? Or is Geralt just gonna act it out himself? I don't know. Ah, there you are. You any closer to being ready for this premiere? Halberdier number two is in the props room crying. Apart from that, it's going splendidly. And you? Are you ready? Sure. I mean, I don't I, I don't have a like copy of the play to read, so we're going to hope that Geralt can act. All right, let's start. Want to get this over with. Everyone says so before their first time. Afterwards, it's impossible to drag them off the stage. You'll see. You'll love it. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Percy told me you like to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? Yeah. I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me, Witcher, are you going to wear hose and a codpiece? Come, Geralt, you must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Zoltan. Hi, Zoltan. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. Its title, A Changeling Rescued, or The Witcher's Triumph. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Ribe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, the delight of audiences far and wide, Maxime Bollier. And as the princess, renowned artiste, beloved queen of the stage, Irina Reynard. Okay, all right. It looks like a decent amount of the crowd's pretty excited. 
Oh god, I'm gonna have to cringe through all this. Oh no. I experienced secondhand embarrassment really hardcore. I can't. I know. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show a tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. I kill monsters for pleasure to slay beasts most foul. I'll do that. To slay beasts most foul, twas for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. He's swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Ah, uh, perhaps midst the guest. No, nope, no, no. Maybe he hid in the cellar. Or a barrel of beer. <laughs> <laughs> the kid's like, really? What? My dear, long have we hid oh, no. our love's tender fires. Months I held back my loins' heart desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife. That's my plea. And then I shall pluck your ripe virginity. <laughs> oh, darling. I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. Ah, this is not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. <gasps> My bowels contract a foul beast to deliver. Hark, hark, tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. Seems men's hearts. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know what to do. Seems men's hearts can love for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword. Let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop. Beast or man, tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a lack of morals, but a heart that is base. Hmm, I like the sound of that one. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk. And its moral is this. Show love for the Dopplers. No monster is he. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just. A true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. God, call the guard. Remove the traitor at once. Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Mm. 
Oh shit! Okay. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the tray, I scum in the dungeon. Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Light it up, for God's sake. Oh, hey, hey, people are clapping. That's good. All right. We didn't completely fumble it up. Oh, God, I had no idea what was going on. It just gave me lines. I don't know what my lines were, though. Me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How do you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time? It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> Let's see, how did you escape after the fight at Horson's? You didn't contact Priscilla, why? Let's do this one. I know Siri went back to Horson's to get you. How do you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me, entreated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but... Slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full-grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us city for a moment. Geralt? Um, hmm. I personally think that I want to meet Siri in, in person in general, but yeah, no, I mean, Geralt should have an idea. Transform. Change into her. I feel strange. Both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Yeah. Plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him. But there's good news, too. Menga's dead. Ugh. A fiend. Good thing someone finally killed it. Though another, just as bad or worse, would likely take its place. Wouldn't be so quick to assume. Got a feeling it could be a decent fellow. What's he talking about? Yeah. <laughs> you get to take his place. We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Well, let's see. Dandelion's on Temple Isle. No one else knows Menga's dead. No one knows Menga's dead. No need to worry about being exposed. No one save you. Would this have anything to do with the fire at the Witch Hunter's barracks? We were in the area. <laughs> I sorely regret not seeing that. 
Dandelions on Temple Isle, imprisoned there. You'll need to find out exactly where. But what if they grow suspicious? Start asking questions. I'll bet my best axe no one will pester the commander of the Temple Guard. Besides, you're a Doppler and an actor, and an actor and a Doppler. Could double the spark to improvise your way out of any situation. If things get spicy, you'll just nip round the corner and transform into a buxom wench, a jackdaw, or whatever else strikes your fancy. Of course, it's that simple. Thanks. <laughs> well, I mean, the fact that you were able to transform into Siri just in front of me. Yeah, I think you could transform into many things and get away from trouble. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Manga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Kyle's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled, let's get to work. <laughs> Not Poor bad. dude. Not bad at all for your first time out. Just a few minor trip-ups. The performance in general, what did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. Such a shame Maxim went on stage inebriated after all. Some of the crowd demanded refunds. Here you are. Your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. <laughs> Uh, I wonder how that would have gone with, you know, if I had chosen more appropriate lines. But it was hard to know what the lines were supposed to do. They kind of just gave you, like, the beginning of those lines, and then that was it. Like, I didn't know if I was supposed to be trying to, like, make a rhyme or what. I mean, I guess you're supposed to choose the theme of what's going on. Or maybe you are supposed to be able to read... Priscilla's, uh, script. I, I didn't actually check if I added my inventory. Take care now. Alright, well, let's go rescue uh, Dandelion. It's about damn time. Sure, ladies and the bands are strapping the mug to the working man. 